Calvin, what's it like to be part of this thing when you look at statistically what you guys have done all season? I mean, these are phenomenal numbers on defense. Um, I mean, yeah, I think we've done really well. I think we've improved over the last couple of weeks and throughout the season. Um, I mean, it's just big time knowing that all the guys that we have out there, all the weapons we have on defense, the speed we have. I mean, we don't have the biggest guys out there, but we're fast. Um, we get after people. I mean, it's really fun. It's really fun. Um, I mean, just going out there and dominating people on defense and being the more physical team, it's a, it's a good time. Can you tell looking at a quarterback when he's freaking out, looking at what's lined up there as to whether that's going to be what's going to happen when the ball snapped? Can you, can you sense what happens to quarterbacks? Yeah, sometimes when we run blitzes, I can kind of tell that the quarterback doesn't know which way to check the protection. And it's kind of fun messing with them, honestly, because like, we can fake blitz, and then he'll check it one way knowing that like, I know if I'm like, lined up to the right or left or whatever, I know the blitz is coming from the left. I'll like line up opposite side, and he'll check it to my side, and then guys will come free. So it's kind of fun knowing that you get to mess with people like that. It's, it's kind of a good time. But, um, but yeah, sometimes you can kind of tell they're, they're confused. What's the personality of this defense, Cal? Do you think this, this year specifically, what's the personality? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think we every game we just know if we go out there and just give it our all and play fast and dominate them, we're we're gonna we're gonna hold them to a few yards and get turnovers. Um, personality, -wise, I don't know. I think every every time everybody just has a blast out there. That's the biggest thing. Like we're all in it together. We all have super fun, uh, a lot of fun out there with everybody. So I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it's just a blast going out there, knowing that everyone else is like having a great time with you, getting after teams. Rocky says this is the team that talks a lot. On the on the field, off the field, um, you know, is that is that part of it? I mean, these guys look like they really. I mean, and you included, look like you have a lot of fun doing. It. Oh yeah, I mean, we're always giving each other a hard time on the field, off the field. I mean, we're just like a unit. Um, yeah, we're always we're in it, we're in it together, and I mean, it's a great time. Who would you say is the vocal leader of the defense? Uh, I would say either JJ or Feely, one of those two guys, seniors. I mean, they're always. Um, <laughs> They've always been the leaders of this team, the weight room, off-season wise. Um, I mean, Feely makes a lot of the calls. JJ does a lot of things um, vocally for our defense. And I mean, they get after it every game. So I would say one of them too, for sure. You guys have a chance to go into Feely Day Conference. Have you guys talked much about that among yourselves? And what would that mean to you guys? Um, yeah, I mean, that was, I mean, that was our goal this year is you know, win a conference championship. And like, in order to do that, you got to go undefeated. I mean, I guess you could lose the games. But I mean, the track we're going, I mean, that's our goal right now is just keep winning out. And um, just take it one week at a time, keep preparing like we have been, and just keep winning every game. When you were getting slugged and overwhelmed by Cal and Penn State, <clears throat> did you have any sense this thing was going to be OK, that you, you could really make this come together? And were you awed at what you've done a lot since the Penn State game defensively? Um, I mean, yeah, we knew that um, we hadn't played any conference games yet. We knew our, one of our goals this year was to win the conference championship. So I mean, we still had you know a sense of, hey, we're, we're still OK. We can still do. We can still accomplish one of our goals. We just had to keep improving and keep getting better every week and move from there. How hard is it to play somebody like Penn State or Cal and get overwhelmed like that? Um, I mean, it's hard. It, it's, it's frustrating in a sense that you know, you're doing things and it's just not working out the way you want it to. You're not getting calls. You're not, you're not making the plays you need to. So in the sense of that, I mean, it's frustrating. But then, I mean, you look at it, you know, it's just a way to improve and keep going from there. What's the key to kind of slowing down a better in the, in the pistol offense? Um, I mean, just kind of our philosophy the past couple of weeks and all season, I mean, just get after them, make them adjust to us instead of us having to adjust to them. I mean, just be the more physical team, just, you know, just get after them. Rocky said that they were more physical than you guys last year. Did you, was that kind of a bitter pill last year? Um, how much do you remember it? And what, what do you want to um, <laughs> I mean, I, I thought we did okay in that game, but I know we didn't finish well the fourth quarter. They had two long runs, and they, I mean, it was defense's fault. If we would have held them, we would have won the game. So, um, I mean, it's kind of one of those situations where um, we, we missed an assignment and they broke a long run. I think they did it again, like the next series. So it was defense's fault that game. Um, I mean, I think just because if we would have held them, we would have won. But, I mean, this year, yeah, I think if we're the more physical team, we, I, think, I think we can do it. Sure. They get the two running backs have over 2,000 yards combined, like five yards a carry. How tough is it to go big on big against them? Uh, I mean, yeah, we've watched them on film. They're, they're very explosive. They're, they're good uh, running backs. You know, a lot of credit to them. But I mean, 
I mean, you can only give him so much credit until you play him, you know? So, I mean, I got a lot of respect for him, but I mean, I'm excited for the challenge this week, and I think our defense is ready for it uh, as well. Maxwell, do you want to answer a question? <laughs> he likes talking. No, He's don't. the vocal leader. <laughs> That's BS. About <laughs> I want to ask you guys, what's it like to be away from home at Thanksgiving, and what, what will your plans be this year for Thanksgiving? Um, well, I really haven't had the opportunity to go home, you know, being at Kentucky. So it's nice to be able to head home to Los Angeles for a little, you know, a little bit and just have a nice meal, be with family and friends and uh, watch football. So that's what I'll be doing. Uh, I'm just going to go up to my uncle's house in San Marcos, hang out with him and his family. They're like my family away from home. It's actually like my dad's best friend, but I'm going up there, so it'll be nice. I've done that the past two years. So. Will you guys bring any teammates with you or? Or is it just you guys? It'll just it'll just be me. Yeah, yeah. I might actually just I don't, tag I don't, along with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no? All right. What is the schedule on Thursday? Are you guys practicing in the morning or? Um, I don't think we're practicing. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure though. Maxwell, what's it like to be on the sidelines and watch these guys do what they're doing defensively? Because the national statistics are staggering. Yeah, I mean. Um, I saw them all spring long, all fall camp long, and uh, I just knew it was a matter of time before you know they all found their rhythm, their groove, you know whatever you want to call it. But uh, you know they just fly around like some some. I guess the best word is really savages. You know they're not the biggest guys, but <clears throat> they're not the biggest guys, but they're extremely physical, extremely tough. They know what um, you know. They understand the the game plan each week that Coach Long has put in, and they're just uh, you know playing terrific football right now. Do you, Max, do you have an appreciation? I mean, you, you came here with fresh eyes. You were, you were the new guy. You come in confident you're going to do what you're going to do, and then you're facing this defense in practice every mm -hmm. day. When did you have more appreciation of how good they were now because of what you've seen? <coughs> and maybe cut yourself some slack about how it went early. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'd never seen a defense like it before. I'd, I've never played a 3-3-5. Three, three, I never, um, I played against a team that blitz a lot, but not like this, not like they do. So it was really kind of, it was, it was much different. You know, the coverages they were playing, it was really throwing me off, you know. In the SEC, I really saw a lot of, you know, basic stuff. You know, they're not really trying to trick you. They just got guys, you know, lining up, but... The defense, our defense, they were all over the place, moving all over the place, doing a bunch of different things, bringing blitzes left, right, middle, sideways. <laughs> but it was just nuts. But um, it's, it's great to be able to go against them, and it's made our <laughs> offense much better because uh, going to, up against such a physical defense has really helped uh, our offense become much more physical as the season's progressed. As this season's gone on, Max, it's been – it seems like it's been more obvious that eventually you're going to arrive, hopefully, at the championship game, and now you you are you have qualified. But you guys have done a great job of focusing each week on every singular game, and you've mm -hmm. talked about it a lot during the week. How has this team accomplished not looking ahead, even though there is something out there ahead? Um, I guess the uh, the best answer is is really just a, a focus that we all have, and um, we have goals set as a team, and we want to reach them. And we know that in order to accomplish those goals, you have to go one week at a time. You know, you're not going to win next week's game this week. So we just know that we have to, you know, prepare each week, prepare the game plan, uh, you know, study the game plan that's put in, and you know, execute it that Saturday. And uh, this week we play Nevada, and that's what we're worried about. I know this is a question that neither of you dare answer wrong, but you know we're getting to that part of the season now where you're seeing college coaches getting fired across the nation. Given what he's done here, what your coach has done here, how stable does he make this environment for you guys in terms of in terms of winning? Really, he mentioned earlier about keeping things at a team level where nobody really sticks out. Nobody's trying to be in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, you, I haven't been here as long as Calvin has, but uh, I've just come to appreciate everything that uh, Coach Long, you know, preaches every day. Um, everything that Coach Hall preaches every day, because you know you spend so much time with your strength and conditioning staff, and and uh, I think just. You know, during the off season, the way we worked as a team, you know, every single sprint we ran, every single, you know, you know, weight we, every single, you know, 
bench we pressed, uh, squat we did. <laughs> it was just, you know, <laughs> all as a team, honestly, and it was a grind. Every single day that we came in, it was just, and that's really what I think it is. It's just a grind every single day. And we are, like I said, we're playing for that one goal, or we have goals set, and I think we're, you know, going to accomplish them. Calvin, you comment on that about him being so, you know, kind of hitting on that team theme and nobody really sticks out. And I assume that's the way you guys want it. Yeah, I mean, Kind of like what Max said, like we work out as a team. It's not like individual lift. I mean, now we do, but over summer and off season, when it's like a lot of like rebuilding periods, trying to get stronger, trying to get like team unity and stuff. Um, it's like all team lifts. You know, we're in there together. We're grinding together. I mean, just practice base. You know, we're out there. Um, I mean, basically, it's like a lot of team oriented stuff. Just you know, like hey, we're out here. You know, we're not individually trying to. You know, I guess, like you said, get the spotlight. We're out here for the team, our team goals, and our team goals, you know, win the conference cha championship and move on from there. Is he as hard edged as he seems, or is he different with you guys? Um, I mean, I don't know. I guess it kind of depends on the setting that he's in. And, you know, on the field, like all the coaches get fired up and stuff. So um, it's kind of hard to judge based off that. Um, but I mean, off the field, Coach Long's a great guy, super nice, you know, easygoing guy. But, I mean, on the field, you know, Coaches and players, everybody's kind of a different, different person out there. It's kind of just the situation that they're in. Would you want to go to his house for Thanksgiving? If he invited me, I'd, I'd go. <laughs> if I didn't have anything better to do, like go to my uncle's house, I'd go. Don't tell him. Don't tell him so he invites me and I'll feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad if I have to say anything. Hey, Max, you sit in on the senior meetings each week mm -hmm. or each day, right? Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on those about the give and take that happens there. I, I was asking Rocky about it, and he said sometimes you guys are talking to him and vice versa. What do you think that's the, the meaning to the team of that is? Um, you know, it, I just think it's really good in terms of, you know, coach understanding us and us understanding them and um, everything, you know, that we talk about. We just, we just kind of keep in that room. But, um, you know, we have a lot of leaders in that, in that senior room, and they do a really good job of, you know, getting guys ready to play ball. and. Um, those meetings are, I, I think, really crucial and something that, uh, you know, I, I enjoy doing, you know, having those meetings and hearing what Coach Long has to say, you know. I think they're vital to the success we have. How do they translate to the rest of the team? How do you guys go out and kind of deliver that message? Um, I mean, it's really just, uh, it's really just going out every day and, you know, practicing hard and not really saying much, but just, you know, do, you know our actions rather than our words, honestly. He kind of preaches that almost. Uh, I mean, yeah, he he preaches a lot of different things, but uh, I mean, what we specifically talk about, we know we just kind of keep in that room. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I think it, you know, it is vital to the success that we have. You reflect back, both you guys. Did you ever think you'd have the capability to run the table when you were sitting there at one and three? Um, I, I did absolutely. I knew that uh, although we were one and three, we had not come near our potential at all. Um, we weren't playing up to our ability because we had seen, you know, spurts and, you know, in camp and of how good we could be. And uh, to go on this streak, it, it's, it's, been, it's been a fun ride. And obviously we want to keep riding this wave as long as we can and uh, just continue to grind every single day. But I, I, I know that every single person in that locker room, um, that no one ever doubted uh, how good this team could be. Same. I mean, at one and three, I knew we hadn't touched, uh, like I had any conference games yet. So, I mean, I knew, kind of like what Maxwell said, I've seen like our best, I've seen our worst. So I know if we play our best and just keep improving that, we could go on a run like we have been. So, I mean, as long as we keep it going, I, I thought we could do it for sure.